Hello and welcome along. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make silage in Farming Simulator 19. It will cover the raw materials used to make it, the equipment you will need, and the ways in which it can be made. Silage can be made using either chaff or grass. Chaff can be made from any grain cropping game, but the main source of chaff is from corn or maize. Silage comes in two final forms, loose silage and silage bales. Silage bales can only be made from grass in the base game, while loose silage can be made from either grass or chaff. We'll start with the methods of making silage from grass. The first thing you will need to do is cut and row the grass. To do this, you will need a mower or mowers in this case, along with a tractor to power them. You will also need a windrower or rake with accompanying tractor to row up the grass once cut. Cut the grass and pile it into rows and you're all set to make some silage. The first method is the cheapest and simplest and that is to create silage bales. You will need a baler and a silage wrapper or in our case here a combination baler with built-in wrapper along with a tractor or tractors to power them. Now simply bale your grass and wrap the bale and hey presto, instant silage bales. The second method is to collect up the grass and transport it to a silage clamp to compress it into silage. To do this, you either need the cheaper option of a tractor and forage wagon or a forage harvester with pickup header and accompanying tractor with silage trailer, which can be more versatile and efficient, especially in multiplayer games. Simply use the pickups to travel along the rows of grass to transfer it to the trailer, ready to transport to your silage clamp. Finally, you can forego cutting and rowing the grass entirely and instead just use the whole crop header to cut the grass with a forage harvester to transfer it to the silage trailer. Although this isn't very realistic. This then brings us to the first method of creating chaff for loose silage. For this, you need a forage harvester with the aforementioned whole crop header, along with a tractor and silage trailer. You can use the whole crop header to cut any green, i.e. not yet harvestable, crop of wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers or soybeans. This is especially useful if a crop will fail to reach maturity before it needs to be harvested, say for example in seasons. You can also cut the same crop once they have matured with no apparent difference in the chaff yield between the two. The second way of creating chaff for loose silage is using corn or maize. For this you will need a forage harvester with a corn header along with a tractor and silage trailer. Maize can be cut while still green although you will still create chaff if cut once it has reached maturity. Again, there appears to be no difference in yield between the two. Once you have collected your loose grass or chaff, the next thing to do is take it to a silage clamp. You can find these at the BGA or you can place one on your farm if you don't already have one located there. An important thing to note is that you must own the land you are trying to use the silage clamp on, otherwise you won't be able to empty your trailer. Once you have emptied all your grass or chaff into the silage clamp, you will now need to compact it ready to ferment. To do this, you will need a telehandler, wheel loader or similar with a bucket or silage fork, or a tractor with a silage blade, silage roller or both. At the very minimum, you can just roll over the clamp with a tractor repeatedly. The most efficient method I have found is to spread the material around the clamp and roll over it repeatedly. You can then pile it up to finish it off. There is a measure of how compacted your raw material is at the bottom of the help menu in the top left hand side of the screen. Press F1 to get this to appear on PC if it's hidden. After you have compacted your raw material to 100%, cover it and then leave it to ferment. 
This happens overnight and should be available the next morning. Once fermentation is complete, uncover your silo. You can now sell your silage at the BGA if you own it or use it to feed your cows directly or as part of the mix for total mixed rations, which we will cover in an upcoming video. So there we are. That is how to create silage in Farming Simulator 19. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found the video useful. If so, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for more videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.